Hello and welcome to this presentation. I am going to show you how to easily create a title block and save it in the library, as well as call commands using free hand pointer symbols with Strakon. First example to draw a title block. I begin to draw a title block with a rectangular. I catch the corner point of the frame and edit the reference point using space bar. Distances are entered according to Cartesian coordinate system. After that, I switch to the command lines. I get the line center point using key L and confirm by mouse left button. Other parallel lines can be created with command parallel. I click on the side of a new line and enter the distance. I draw the next line using spacebar again to catch the corner point and enter the distance. Horizontal projection is activated with key H and the parallel function can be called with the smart click using the middle mouse button to extend or shorten lines. I repeat steps to draw more lines using space bar, key H to head horizontal projection. I catch the center between two points with key B and finally activate vertical projection with key V. Now I can enter the texts. I determine a reference point with the space bar and entering values. Then I type text and finish with enter. I copy the text with the pointer symbol and activate automatic point identification with key A to copy a new text exactly in the same position. As well as the text can be corrected in the same way using pointer symbol U. For further text input, I change the default settings using the additional function bar, pen thickness, text height, and alignment. To center a reference point, I use the combination space bar, key B to get center, and key R to set orthogonal projection. In order to keep the texts variable depending on the project, I am using the exclamation mark to take over the text from the drawing data. Finally, I add an image file in the title block that can be easily placed in the drawing by drag and drop from the folder. The size can be determined by factor or freely. I see the finished title block as a symbol. In this way, it can be used again. Via the menu Accessories and Symbols, I select Create, enter a name, Select Formwork and a number of subdetails. Finally, I select the whole title block and determine the reference point at the lower right corner for the later insertion. Using pointer symbol L, I remove the title block from the drawing. Now I back to the menu Accessories and insert the title block by selecting a name from additional function bar or choose from catalog. Save symbols you can find in the catalog name standard. I select my created title block 1 and place it in the segment number 1 using the space bar and distances. As I mentioned before, the exclamation mark in front of the text allows automatically transfer information from the drawing data as soon as I change it. In the end, I want to show you how drawings can be saved in the library for further using. I need to open a file menu, 
and select Save in Library. Saved drawings appears in the CAD library directory, which can be defined using the master data. I will name drawing according to sheet size and a title block name. A protocol table appears with a message that the drawing was saved in the library. If I want to create a new drawing with this template, I need to select File, New from Library. Second example, to insert DWG with the title block. I want to begin with deleting existing title block and change segment geometry using a pointer symbol. DWG file with existing title block can be easily placed in the drawing by drag and drop from the folder too. The title block uploaded this way may appear not with the right font. Therefore, another way to upload a DWG file is by using the menu bar Import DWG. A table of settings appears where I can change default settings such as align style, color, font. There is Arial font in AutoCAD column. Stracon converts the text automatically to true type font. That is the reason why we see the text outside the frame. I select the whole title block and place it to the right corner using space bar as I did before. Using an exclamation point, I change the text to a variable. This way, I can easily change the text in the title block using administration data. The title block is saved as a symbol by following the same steps as in the previous example. This is how the title block could be created with Strachan. Enjoy!